Farmville 2 is my current obsession, so I thought to commentate on each new feature I've unlocked so far from level 7 to 14, and how similar or different it is compared to Township. So let's get started. Starting with level 7, the farm stand will be unlocked to buy and sell your barn goods, which is similar to Township's city market. However, unlike the city market, the farm stand allows you to sell goods and adjust your price. This feature is pretty neat and I personally like it over Township's market, set goods and pricing. Here's a tip, when setting your price, Increase the amount to the maximum capacity to earn more coins. Don't worry about your goods not selling, because it will. This is how you earn coins super fast. You can also buy from other farmers by clicking on the Buy Goods button down at the bottom. From there, scroll down to see different goods for sale from other farmers. The list will refresh every 5 minutes so you can come back every so often to look for goods you want to buy. Level up number 8. You will get to explore the grandma's glade. But first, you have to purchase it with coins. To explore Grandma's Glade, you will need a helping hand from other players, in this case, Chani. So tap on the field and drag Chani over to forage the land. I'm going to speed things up, but usually you will have to wait 15 minutes to find out what Chani has found. So once Chani finished foraging, he will find rewards and goods you can use to upgrade your barn storage and ingredients to make food in your factories. Usually foraging will take around 15 minutes or so. 11 minutes later. Level up number 9. You will unlock the Dairy Factory, Strawberry Patch, and a new decoration. Here's the new Dairy Factory, which costs way more than what I have right now, so I'm gonna buy the tool shed from my previous level up instead. And here's the Strawberry Patch. Okay. Level up number 10, unlocking a new farm animal, the goat and peach tree. We also see an introduction of the golden gloves, which basically decrease the time of factory production on our farms. Here's the goat and the peach tree I bought offline so you won't see me buying it. Level 11, you will finally get to join a farm's co-op. Township has its co-op also, although you won't be able to join it until you reach level 19. So here I am joining a co-op. And I really like my group. It's an active and helpful group. Each co-op gets to have 50 members. And that's me right there. 
If you look at the top tabs, you see a search tab to find other co-ops if you decide to join a different one, a create tab for when you want to make your own co-op, an inbox tab for when your co-op members are requesting help. So far, no one needs help right now. If you click on the co-op chat, you can chat with other members. Click this icon at the bottom left to get help in your farm. Click the middle S button to ask for goods you don't have. I already used mine, so I can't request until 3 hours from now. This is the emoji button. It has very limited emojis, unlike Township. And then you have the chat button. There's a request only tab for you to view other requests for help. The side tabs, such as this one, allows you to buy goods from your friends and other co-op members. This one I don't know, it doesn't load. This one allows you to request speed seed from friends which allows you to reduce your harvesting time. And this one is the chat button. Okay, level up number 12. You get to explore Poppy's Pond. Purchase it and similar to Grandma's Glade, you will need a farm hand to find special rewards and ingredients. Eight hours later. Level 13, you unlock the dinner oven and potato field. I'm running out of land and can't place the potato where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna put this where I have space. This spot right here. Okay, last level, level 14, which unlocks the sheep and a new decoration. Here's also a new feature, the power pins, which is similar to Township's booster where it allows you to harvest your farm faster along with other bonuses. And here's the sheep. And that's all for this video. Please don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.